so much for no reason. Maybe this is why Charlie's going Shulk in this matchup versus Lucina. Best of Life versus Valadin. The Hat Resident. I think this one of the only locals he attends, right? Yeah, this is the only one I've really seen him at. But he does really well every time he is, is here. I know I'm guessing Charlie does not like the Wolf Lucina matchup. So he wants a Shulk. And also earlier today, he said he wanted to start playing Shulk. So, I mean, no better time than like at a local, try out your character, see how it goes. I'll be at it. Yeah. There you that's, go. Yeah, that's that's the every Shulk. If you're near me, I'm up being get out of here. get out of here. I'll be out of cross last. That's oh. Belen is really good at the whole bait and punish. She'll drift back and forth at you, get your, you get you a dancing blade, get you a fair. As I was saying. Charlie has one of the more dynamic playstyles in Smash Brothers. You like his playstyle is so dynamic. It's, he's like has this wild burst of like energy when you like want to count him out, you can't count him out because then he gets that string that turns the entire game around. And Charlie will randomly just turn his brain up to eleven and think of a new play to bring it back. Yeah. But Vlad is really good at the whole, like, I want to help him stay. Because I don't want to call him basic because if it was basic, everybody would be able to benefit off of it. He's really good at doing the very, like, like the fundamentals of smell. Oh, that's I not what you want to see. Yeah, not at all. He's very well at, at applying the fundamentals of Smash, so the drifting back and forth, spacing, like, punishing, like, grabbing on shield. And, and uh, he's really good at that. It's yeah, like Vlad, a, yeah, Vladin is just one of those uh, players who just has a really good neutral, and then with Lucina, that just amplifies it so much. She has all these safe poking yeah. tools with the nair, with the jab, with the uh, with the dancing blade. So it just yeah, because yeah, he has like a good neutral. He knows how to recover with his character. He knows how to edge guard with Lucina. He didn't you know like he knows like the limits of his character. That's why like it's really well because you never see him really overextend with Lucina. You know, like you never really see him overextend with Lucina. Like he's really like meticulous in this play. Right now, this uh, this Shulk's not looking too good. After that SD, no. good tech. Though. Charlie, um, I, love, I love Charlie, but his Shulk is very crusty right now. So. Yeah, he, <laughs> like definitely. Very, when he was getting to play, it just kind of looked really shaky. <laughs> looked like he was trying yeah, to figure but things out. No, Charlie, he's 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 gonna figure it out. He's gonna, his Shulk's gonna figure it out, and his Shulk's gonna find his way. If he's serious about the character, I promise you, his character will appear on the PR. But right now. Against the caliber of players like Valadin, wants to play it cool. Hey, Charlie's either going to figure it out or we're going to see a fast switch to Wolf. Yeah, I think he's going Wolf now. He's, there's no way he's going to show up a second time. There's no way. You know, no I way. feel like Charlie's great enough to give it a second try. No. no. Yeah. No. Yeah, no, uh, you were right. I want to give him the... Well, he's already done the game. If he will, like, say if he won the first game... And then he went Shulk the second game, lost the second game with Shulk. I can see it, yeah. And then I can see him going again. But now being down 1-0. Yeah, after that yeah. SD, getting two stock, it was. It's not fun for the boy. It's not fun for the kid. Yeah, going over to the Wolf, the character that got him on the PR. Yeah. Isn't his Fox on the PR too or no? I don't know. I'll be honest. <laughs> All I see are space animals. Know. Oh, down smash still catching him. And she doesn't have a. Wow, she still made that. I'm a. Who's seen it, baby? Yeah, you're right. Magnet hands. Too good of an upbeat. Like, and this is another thing we don't talk. Okay, so Lucina and Lucina and Marth. I don't know about Marth. Oh, oh my nice God, he side, died. fair to side B. Lucina, she has like one of the best shield animations. Cause like none of her limbs. So it's like she's one of the harder characters to shield poke. Cause if you ever like, if you at home and have your ultimate booted up, go inside and shield with Lucina. Her stance makes it where she has no limbs sticking out. So she's one of the harder characters to like shield poke. Well, some other characters like Ike in particular, he freaking shields and then his arm and everything is sticking out. But Lucina, she has like, it's not her shield itself, it's just her shield stance. It doesn't it doesn't allow her to get shield poked as easy as other characters. Ah, oh, she's well trained. Yeah. That's, no. that's actually really cool to know. Yeah, it's like if you look at her shield animation, she like, she has a good stance, she has a feast all like in a good angle. Like, so she's really good at that. Really good. Look at Charlie showing a big difference in this matchup versus... Lucina. Oh. Great I wonder what stages of Vlad and Band in this matchup because Wolf would, this would be a stage I, like, oh, FD and Pokemon Stadium I'll ban all day versus Wolf, but maybe he ban, oh, nice back air. Oh, it didn't kill. Nice DI by Charlie. Yeah, right now, uh, Charlie up three stocks. Oh, nice. To, I like that. Three stocks one. Yeah, grab. Probably not going to kill to about 170. 
No. Okay, see, why does that do... I, I, okay, I, I don't mind it poking the ledge, but why <laughs> does that send me in a disadvantage state? Why does wow. it send you horizontal? <laughs> it's like, oh, here you go. I like Vlad needs to get this stock going. I mean, I feel Wolf... I, mean, I feel like Lucina can still do it just because her edge guarding um, capabilities versus Wolf. Yeah, Vlad, like... Oh. Get some real like stone just goes off one time and takes care of Charlie's stock. He could actually this will be even. Yeah. Right now I don't like he's letting he's allowing Charlie to back him in the corner. He needs to be the one keeping Charlie in the corner because he's the one with the sword, you know. Because mm -hmm. I kind of feel like he's letting Charlie control the stage when Lucina should be the one controlling the stage, in my opinion. Yeah, I feel like he's giving Charlie just a little bit too much respect here. Yeah, here you go. But he has him right now. See, like see, he's doing good when he has him on like right here. He he's good right here. He's solid. If he can nest this stock, he can still win this game. Ooh, great read on the roll. This is all he needs to keep. He needs to keep Charlie on the ledge right here. Do not let Charlie get center stage. Because that's his, that's where he gets scared. Okay. Right, right now, Vlad, good, good stuff with punishing right now. Get some away. Is he going to go off for an edge guard? No. Just, yeah, just staying on stage again. Yeah, it's like right there. He's in a perfect spot. As long as he's able to, like, not whip, get everything he needs to get. Okay, well, Charlie's getting his first. Oh, no. No way that kills. No. Okay. Oh, oh, no. Vlad is surviving. Vlad needs to make this. Oh, whoa, okay. I like. I don't know if that was <laughs> miss input with Charlie, but. I think the F tilt was intended, but it, it was definitely meant to be like, read your neutral, get up. Mm -hmm. Go. Oh, is that, the, that, that, is that like a sour spot? I'm, I'm yeah, assuming that's, a, sour that's spot. a I'm assuming there's a true combo in there. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, he lives, though. Good. And SD. he's going to make it back. Why not? Good DI. Oh, yeah. no, again. Oh, wow. Just deleted. Yeah. Yeah, Vlad's still not going on. He went off of the edge guard once, and Charlie's still teching. And, again, i just like to see Vlad just go out there and end it. He got, he let him back to stage every time for free. And I get it. It's scary edge guarding Wolf. But sometimes it's, you got to do what you got to do. And still, good, good, like, Credit to Charlie, the way he's recovering. Yeah. He's doing it at that ambiguous angle where you don't know what he's going to do, so you really just have to commit to something. Sorry, hold on. No worries. Game three. Running it back to PS2. Here you go. Hold on. <laughs> right, gets a bit of a combo. Good, good parry coming in. Still off stage, yeah, trying to go for the down air. I like the idea. Yeah. But yeah. Oh, but you could give him the dollar right for the tip. Charlie's, Charlie's uh, combo game is looking really fresh right now. He got a lot of percent just from reading what the lad is going to do. It's really good. Yeah, he did start off good last game. Oh, whoa. Up B, getting ledge clipped. I don't think he teched it because I don't think he thought he was going to get clipped. Yeah. But good stuff by Vlad and taking the stock. Now Charlie has the uphill battle. Mmm. Vlad, whoa. Vlad is starting off. He's doing really well right now. Charlie has to get this kill and then some. For yeah. it to, to, so it can seem more convincing. Yeah, right now it seems like uh, when Valadin doesn't have to approach and he's forcing Charlie to approach, that's when Valadin's really good. It's when he has to approach and like overcommit. He's just kind of falling apart, taking a lot of chip damage. Down throw. Just going to get him off stage. It's a left guard. Roll, but F tilt not working for some reason. Thank you. Yes, yeah, it's, it's wild. I mean... He's doing really well right now. Like, he, if he takes this stock right now, I'm pretty sure he could take. Oh, absolutely. The way that uh, the combos that Charlie do, does and the way he plays with the Wolf, he could absolutely bring this back. But Vlad is playing such a good turtle uh, Whoa. style. That was a good shield break. I didn't see. When did he we weaken Charlie's shield? I don't even know if he. I think he might have weakened it with, like, a short hop Nair. I think he got, yeah. like, one short hop Nair and then just ran back and sh did shield breaker. That was a really good shield break. And I'm a bit surprised how fast Charlie was able to shield after rolling, too. Right. <laughs> That's like, yeah, but that was a really good call. Right that was a good option, man. Yeah, right. Charlie was getting fancy with that uh, footwork right there, but the back throw is still not going to kill. 211%. And now Valadin is still going in. He, doesn't, he looks like he just doesn't want to lose his stock. That's mine. That's my property. Yeah, but... Get F-tilled by Charlie. 
This is what I'm going to get to take. But away. I'm looking to try to take game number two. No, game number three. I'm doing a really good job right now. Especially, like, knowing Charles is a really heavy combo base. Um, like, not combo base player. He has, like, a wild burst of energy where he could get strings off of anywhere. But knowing Valadin, how safe he is, he's not going to want to. So that's going to be the whole. You know, I kind of feel that's why it's, like, so unique watching these two players fight. Because we have one player who's really good at. His conversions and confirms with and Charlie, and then you have Vladimir, who's really patient. He looks for things and play off like that. So I kind of feel if Vladimir's able, with that's why I feel like these whole their matchup is really stock dependent, because like their play styles require you to play their game essentially. Mm -hmm. Like right now, Vladimir's in control because like Charlie has to do his, you know, he has to get a combo, get something going, but the type of player Vladimir is not going to run in to just allow Charlie to get anything going. And vice versa, if Charlie, like last game you seen Charlie was up, Aladdin can't play safe when he's from behind, you know? And it's really easy to see Charlie's play style when he's from behind because you know he wants to go in towards you, you know? But he's so good at mixing it up, that's what makes it kind of hard. Right now, Aladdin's still on yeah. the edge. That F-Till killed? Why not? Why not? And I think an up throw? Yep. Or just falling back here. Oh, falling back here? <laughs> that works for? Yep. Yeah, Charlie was still looking pretty good, Aladdin, but that, that mountain he had to... The mountain he had to climb was so Aladdin, yeah, was so much. Taking game three by Vladin. That was a that was a really good game. Charlie was bringing it back. Vladin was able to close it out, which is always good to see. Not seeing people choke mid game. I think we're going back to PS2. Yeah. Now I'm surprised Charlie didn't want to go to Fox or anything, but I'm. Oh well, wait, no, he doesn't really play Fox. Yeah, it does. Wait, who does better, Fox or in his matchup? Honestly, I'm. I'm not sure. I haven't seen too much high-level uh, matchup between them, uh, either of them. I think it's just Charlie's more comfortable with going Wolf. Yeah. Okay, Vladin get a quick down air nair. Interesting conversion. Mm. Oh, oh nice. reading oh. the neutral get up. The, no, he he teched in place. I mean the neutral tech, yeah, yeah my he, bad. Yeah, teched in place. And that's some oh man, teching him it's like what do you do? Teching in place has some of the worst punishes. Like, whatever. Sounds yeah, tech, like tech in place. Yeah, I mean he's right there. What are you thinking? A roll away? I mean, of course he's gonna go for that. What are you thinking? Like it's so yeah. difficult sometimes. Falling up here, still not going to take it. Oh, so now, right now, so like, okay, so this is still like an even game right now if he takes the stock. But whoever takes that convincing stock lead, I feel that's who wins the. Between these two, I feel that's who wins the matchup. Because they got like really good play styles that like allows you to play. Like, oh, I thought he was. Play their game. Thought he was going to try to go for the uh, downward variation, maybe try to break the shield. But yeah, like you were saying, I feel like whoever takes this next stock is really going to take home this game because if it's Vlad and then Charlie's had su such a hard time bringing it back keeping the control of the pace and oh. a lot of I'm oh, sorry I didn't mean to cut you but a lot of things like uh, Charlie hasn't lost a hat in a while actually he's really his hat streak is live he does really well at hat and uh, one of the few hats I was at Vladin could have beaten Charlie but Charlie beat him in the game five so now that um, Charlie's down a game and Vladin could win this going to win his finals and knowing that we still got some good players like lurking in the losers thing, uh, Charlie the win streak has somewhat in jeopardy here. That's true. A lot at stake here. Oh, back hit an air gonna almost kill him. Oh, oh I like how he went off for it, but just okay. So why did it send him that way? Then last time it sent him the other way. And it's the way that uh, Charlie does his up B. If it's so, like, if Wolf is facing for is towards you, would you go away or would you go in? I think you go away and then vice versa. Okay. So is it better for Wolves to re like is it better for the Wolves to recover low facing towards the stage or away from the stage? Usually like it's away because if you hold downward and they clip you, you get sent out like towards the blast zone and sometimes it'll just kinda kill you. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, it, it's just that like other lay of mix up that wolves can do and you actually do see a lot. You go Vladin right here right now. He's trying to close it out. Get a PR win for the season. He was never... Uh, he's always come close to being on PR. Now a first in the season. 
this will be a good win for him because I think this is his. Is this his first tournament since the new PR season started? I believe so, yeah. Yeah, so this would be a good win for him. I don't know if he's going to Prime Saga. By the way, like, and also if you haven't signed up, well. No, it's can't too late. Uh, wait, uh, yeah, it's too late. Sorry. Yeah, it's too late. We but have your okay, now that you can't sign up, make sure you tune in for Prime Saga on Saturday and Sunday this April. It's going to be really lit. You got all, some of the best players from all around the world coming out. To, like, you could see Valadin and Charlie there, too. So it's gonna be really, it's gonna be a really good tournament. I like, I like the fact Sagas are returning. Oh, what oh, a up, read! Smash. Nice read by Charlie. But Wait, Vladen he didn't, didn't die. No, he didn't die. Oh, back air. Wait a minute. What do you mean okay. he didn't lose? <laughs> oh, nice up, air, up smash the back air from Charlie. That was, that was such a good read for the up smash. But I'm so, so surprised he didn't die. But still gonna land that back air, bringing it to a game five. Yeah, this is game five. Charlie always does this to people. He likes to like give us a show. I think he's one of the. Uh, most people don't have a. Most people don't follow wrestling, but Charlie is definitely always guaranteed to put on. Like, if anybody know who Shawn Michaels is, like Charlie would be equivalent to a Shawn Michaels in a sense. You win some, you lose some, but it doesn't matter. You know you're getting a good, entertaining match. <laughs> like, nonetheless, you know you for sure. Charlie's always gonna put on a show. Okay, wait, wait. Why are you doing this, Vance? What did? I can't hear myself think. <laughs> can't hear myself think. <laughs> All right, good yeah. parry coming in. Oh, okay. 77 unanswered percent. And now Charlie is. I still can't hear Toasty. Can the people hear me? I think. I don't know if the people can hear me. I feel lost in the world. Vance uh, muted it as a joke. I mean, but am I still muted? If I don't I'm know. Still muted, press one. Vance, stop, please. I have a master. If I'm muted, press one. Oh, they can hear me. Okay. As long as the people can hear me, that's all that matters. The people can still Man, hear stop me. Stop being a bully. The people can hear me, so that's all that matters. So we have a good game right now. Charlie has a 110% lead on Valadin right now. Valadin's trying to get a good PR win right now. And Charlie is number 8, and 1 through 10 do hold a lot more weight than, uh, say, 10 to 20. And Charlie is kind of like, Hat is his home. He made Hat his home. He's like, I think he has a... I think they have a room from upstairs somewhere with a bed and the Charlie room. Yeah, the Charlie room. <laughs> as of late, since Ultimate started, so Valadin has to really. I mean, he's working now. It's like is Charlie. He can adapt. He turn things around. Look at that tech. Good so tech. some of the best in the game. Oh no, no whiff. Okay, he got the turnaround. What kind of conflict is here? Ooh. Oh, okay. I'm actually going to take yeah. that, yeah. He goes, so even game of Alliance, could do, I, I want to see him stick more to his game because I kind of feel like Charlie's kind of figuring him out in somewhat of a bit with the dash back and forth and side B. He's good with the mix-ups. But, I, like, I think the you have to corner in this. Ultimately, you just got to corner keep your opponent on the ledge. Like, right now, that's really good. As long as he takes stage control, he has, oh. Oh, bad Dude, angle. That's still good. That's still good. Back here, okay. Let's 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 go off. See, I think he's respecting the recovery too much. Lucina can literally go off stage and fair our back air wolf for free, like like for real, like for free. Like if he goes off stage right now, just just go off stage and throw out the hitbox, you know. Like our it, when you put your buddy off there off stage, you're kind of like causing like a present, you know. You're letting them let let your presence felt, and then you're allowing your opponent to react sooner than when they should be, instead of letting them drift all the way to until they're comfortable to recover. You always want to at least put, especially with Lucina, she could like fly off stage and like kind of dictate where she could dictate if you want to recover low or recover high. True. And I would like to see if Aladdin kind of exploit that more, especially with somebody like Wolf who has a very linear recovery. Yeah, and throughout the set, like in the beginning games, you didn't really see Aladdin going off more. But uh, as the as the games went on, he would slowly be going off, maybe trying to edge guard, trying to put on pressure. Yeah. Right. Grab. That's not gonna be that it just it. yet. I think it's 160. It kills. But now since it's stale, it might not kill at 160 now. Oh. Or you know. Nice okay. Oh whoa. Okay. This game now. This game now. Okay. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> Easy game. I was about to go in the dialogue, but nope, never mind. I love this is it right now. Vlad's been playing really well. Both these players have been playing very well up to this point. 
I like, love uh, I love Charlie's Wolf because he just has the ability to read you so hard. Yeah, the lands like game five last like stock. I remember last time watching this, there's going back and forth. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, there's some hitters and losers right now that I'm pretty sure Charlie does not want to play. <laughs> yeah, Charlie, Charlie out here trying to stay in winners. He shot. I mean, you always want to try to stay in winners because losers, especially winners, semis, you got all the hitters, you got the people that got upset, it just lurking, waiting, and they're all warmed up because they're yeah. playing their games. Yeah, you got well, the people you out here wait. trying to make a losers run. They're looking at yeah. you. They're losers run. They're hungry right now, and the line is just as hungry. So I'm like, at one point I feel, okay. So at one point I feel like the people are losers right now. Should be very worried because one of these guys are coming, and then the person that's gonna meet them in winners finals. Oh, oh nice call not out! The role you want to see—that's a really good ledge guard right there. And he wasn't doing very much ledge rolls, and that was really yeah, good. Yeah, I think that was like maybe one of two. one of one of two ledge two. rolls, and Charlie was able to. Yeah, one of two rolls you saw him throw out throughout the whole set, and the yeah. one he does, he ends up getting clipped. Yeah, yeah. So it's really good by Charlie. I'm going to head out now.